Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan Moore and I am one of the STIT interns. Does God really care about who we date? Does he care about how we date? In today's society, we see a world that is full of sexualized advertisements, television shows, movies, and even deodorant and body wash commercials. What is the response we should have with this view of dating? In 1 John 2.16, God says, For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, and the desires of the eyes and pride of life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. We aren't called to live by the ways of the flesh, such as the things that t television says is right. Most of the time in today's society, we will see that they encourage having sexual interactions with the other person just on the first date. What's so wrong with that? Well, in the first book of the Bible, we see that man and woman were created to be married and become one flesh. In Genesis 2.24, we see that this explains why man leaves father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one. God created the perfect woman to please Adam. In response, we see that what one flesh truly means is sex inside of marriage. That doesn't call for a girlfriend and boyfriend relationship to practice this. Godly dating is for taking time to see if a person is the right one that God has created for you. The Bible calls for us to be equally yoked with those we are close to. What that means is both of you have to be on the same level of commitment for Christ. If one isn't a believer, then they will pull the other down. That is why Paul wants us to worship and please God without distraction in 1 Corinthians 7, 32-35. He says that it is better for a person to only focus on God than to have a divided focus between the worries of the world and God. But he also says in verse 9, But if they lack self-control, they should marry, for it is better to marry than to burn with passion. This passion is referred to as sexual desires. Now, in the time frame of the Bible being written to now, there has been a culture shift. Dating wasn't a thing back then. It was by parental decision on who was to be married to who. However, we can still apply this to dating. If we are giving more focus to the person we are dating, we will lose sight on what God calls us to do. This can break, push us to break godly boundaries that were set up to keep us from going into a deeper sin. Because God is so holy, it would be better to remain single so that we can keep a full focus on what God uh, wants us to do and what he calls us to do instead of falling into temptations that should have been avoided in the first place. So to wrap this all up, whether you are single or dating, God should be the number one focus in your life. If he is not, we will see ourselves falling into sexual sin and temptation, which will in turn draw us farther away from what his will and remove the true value of marriage. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, let us know in the comment section down below, and we will catch you all next week. If you want to learn more about this topic and many others, or about our cost-free stint internship, visit topbecker.org slash stint.